Alright guys, welcome back to the Green Plant Team playing Dark Souls. This is episode 7. I started recording earlier and it was, it, for some reason the sound, the audio in the game just, it was lagging. So I restarted it. Alright now, now it sounds better. So, last time uh, we got kick, killed a lot. And that's definitely because we don't have a divine weapon. If we had a divine weapon, this area will be a lot better, a lot easier. But I wanted to get Patches' dialogue. But I also want to kill Pinwheel because Pinwheel drops a very important item. So we're going to go over here, this area, where we find some more asshole skeletons that we can't kill because the damn Necromancer is still alive. Fuck it. We'll be alright. We're gonna run past these skeletons. Oh no. Just like last time, apparently I didn't learn my lesson. There's that spot you can land on. I said earlier that you could jump from higher above. From above. <laughs> you can jump from above and land on that spot. I'm just, my language failing me again today. Alright, did we leash off those guys? No, they, they're still coming. Alright, you will die. You're dead. Oh, you know, I don't even want to deal with these guys because they're going to come back to life. Is there any items? Ah, I hate these fucking skeletons. They are the blight of this game. Blight? Go away. <laughs> How is there so many of them? We're gonna go hide here in this conveniently placed coffin. Yeah, back up. Back off. Back up, back off, back off. Back off. Yeah, you little shit. Here we can see a Titanite demon just chilling. By the way, this coffin is a very very neat uh, secret it does something if you stay here long enough there it is For you guys that have played Dark Souls before, uh, you guys know where we're at. And I'm apologize for my dog barking in the background. She is going insane for some reason. You guys remember the intro, the skeleton guy, Nito? Well, there he is. Nito. Nito. Where's my damn binoculars at? Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Let's put the binoculars right there. Where are my binoculars? There they are. I guess I should have that handy, shouldn't I? Alright. Neato. And he's resting. And... We can enter his covenant. I, to be honest, don't even know what his covenant does. But we got a miracle. And we got a sword. Let's see what the lore is behind that. I think you bring him humanity. I may be wrong. It's probably something else. 
Where is it? Alright. Gravelord Sword Dance. Miracle known only by the servants of the first dead. Gravelord Nito. Giant Gravelord Giant Gravelord Swords jut out in, vin in vicinity. Nito sleeps deep within the giant catacombs, quietly overseeing all death and waiting for his servants to usher in the Eye of Death. Oh, the Eye of Death. So that's what I give him, which is something that I got. Where is the lore? Where is it? There it is, Eye of Death. I have three of them, wow. The dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing the eyes of death to multiply and leading to further proliferation of pain. I have no idea what any of that means. And we also have, we got the sword. Where's the sword at? Gravelord sword. Sword wielded only by the servants of Greylord Nito, the first of the dead. Crafted from the bones of the fallen. The miasma of death exudes from the sword. A veritable toxin to any living being. Can we use this sword? Can we be badass? I don't think we can. We probably can't. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, can't even use it. Oh well. Back to the broadsword. But yeah, we give this guy the eye of death. And with every covenant, when you when you offer something, I think it's ten to be get to the first level, and then another twenty to get to level two of the covenant. And each covenant. There's nine of them. Each covenant has its rewards and benefits. We're just gonna offer it, you know, just cause. The Eye of Death, why not? Alright, now we can leave. Nice little secret area. And to get back, we just go back in our coffin. And for some reason, somebody... Somebody takes us back. I don't know if they're carrying the whole coffin or what. Alright, now we're back in the... Back in the Tomb of the Giants. And that guy actually killed us... During the last, uh... Oh! Alright, got my life back. When I, when I was playing and the audio was all messed up, he killed me. And I used that as a way to... As a sign to come back. To uh, restart, I mean, I guess, I suppose. And this is the way forward, right here. We got these asshole skeletons are coming upstairs. Plunge and attack! We got one of them. Oh shit. Is this the way down? Fuck it. Get down there! There we go. Oh! Yes, this is the way down. Do not die. Do not die, man. Come on, green plantain. You got this. Alright. Terrorists. Oh, these things, man. These bone wheels, these are the worst fucking enemy in Dark Souls, man. We're gonna run by them. Oh, shit. Are we gonna make it? Oh, shit. Yeah, these guys are the worst. They were nerfed down where they brought him back in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3. They are a miasma of death. Come on. Get away from these damn wheels. All 
All right, we made it. We're here. And we have one Estus Flask left to fight this boss, but I think that should be enough because it's a very, very easy boss. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Pinwheel, and he is so easy. Oh my god, he's about to kill me. The gimmick with this boss is kind of like, uh, if you remember the witches from Legend of Zelda, uh, she would multiply, and whichever one spun, that was the real one, and he's the same thing. He'll spin around to give it away. Look how easy it is. I'm already a third of the way. You will die. Oh! <laughs> I do not want to die to this boss. I'll, I'll be so ashamed. Get that stamina, bruh. Oh no! I will not die to you. I swear. If I die... Oh no. Alright. This is it. This is the last push. Where's he at? Where's he at? There you are. Boy, you're not the real one. Okay. Who are you? You are the real one. You're dead. We did it. We killed Pinwheel. And we got the right of kindling. And what the... The Rite of Kindling does, it, uh... Oh, nice. Mask of the Child. What the Rite of Kindling does, it allows you to kindle the bonfire past... Past... Okay, hold on. Let me get my words right. <laughs> it allows you to kindle the bonfire three times, which means that you can get an, a bonfire to give you 20 Estus Flasks. So you see how I can only carry... I guess I can't show you because I have no Estus. If I kindle a bonfire, I can carry 10 Estus flasks. But if I, with the right of kindling, I can get it all the way to plus 20. So, very cool stuff. Very good thing to have early in the game. And this guy, he had a whole bunch of books. What was he doing? What was he studying? A whole bunch of bodies here. All right, so we picked up. We picked up the. Where is it? Where, 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 where is it? Where, where is it? Where's the right of kindling at? Oh, it's a key. Okay, right of kindling. This secret right allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling, so that even more essence can be collected. I guess I could have read that. And it would have been a lot easier to explain. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had fond little use for humanity until they turn undead. What is humanity? These questions keep me up at night. So how are we going to get back? To the top now that we're done with the catacombs. I guess I could go through here. I think this is a way back. I may be wrong. We will. We're gonna come back to this area. 
but just just not not quite yet cuz we're definitely not strong enough shortcut ahead all right this is gonna take us back I believe so dark here soul of a proud knight all right yo we have no estes flask and we have 15,000 souls we are fucked if we die and oh man the wheels <gasps> the wheels are <laughs> fuck these wheels man <laughs> oh no <laughs> yo they waited for me to fight this boss they waited for me. These fucking assholes. Oh man. Secret wall? Nope. I'm dead. Alright, so the Black Knight killed us, <laughs> which means uh, all the 15,000 souls are now lost, which means we have nothing to lose in this level, so we are done. We are going to get out of the catacombs, and we are going to go to Lower Undeadburg. Oh god. We got it. We killed the necromancer. We did it. Let's get out of this place. So many of them. No. No green plantain. Do not fail me. Alright, we are out of the hard part. Or are we? These goddamn skeletons, man. <laughs> Fuck these skeletons. I hate them with a passion. And these motherfuckers can go up ladders too. So we're not safe. Not quite. Freedom! Coming coming back out, that is just such a beautiful view because you see the light. Back into the light. Yes. And we got skeletons still on our tail. It's alright. More skeletons. Fuck these skeletons. We're just we're a bit stronger. We got we got the right of kindling. We got the right of kindling and we talked to Patches, which is what I wanted to do and we did it. So now that we kill that boss. Now that we kill that boss, let's talk to the NPCs and see if they have anything new to talk about. Anything new to say. Alright. What's good? Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? My companions are Milady and her young knights. She is young, but burdened by an undead mission. We are her defenses to keep her from harm. Who is her? An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps, if you show your faith. 
Show your dedication? Hmm, I didn't know I could do that. I'll do it later. I'm afraid that may be difficult, for our missions are sacred. Come again. The effectiveness of the teaching. Come again. The most boring motherfucker in the world. Alright, do you have anything new to say? Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Asshole. Lord Trick. Are you here? Oh, Lord Trick's gone. Where is he? Do you have anything to say? She cannot speak. Why can't she speak? We'll never know. Alright guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up. We killed we killed the uh, pinwheel, we got the rat of kindling, we killed the last necromancer. They're definitely a dying dying breed. I think there's like one left possibly. But for the most part, looks like that's it. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.